Mr. President, I speak of the mystery of your life. You were born on June 14, 1946. From ages past, it was appointed that on that day, a scripture would be recited throughout the world. The scripture that was appointed for the day of your birth spoke of the bringing of God's vessel, a trumpet, into the world. Amen. President Trump, you were born into the world to be a trumpet of God, a vessel of the Lord in the hands of God. God called you to walk according to the template. He called you according to the template of Jehu, the warrior king. He called Jehu to make his nation great again. Jehu came to the capital city with an agenda to drain the swamp. Jehu forged an alliance with the religious conservatives of the land, so it was your destiny to do the same. To come to power, Jehu had to prevail against the nation's former first lady. So to come to power, you had to prevail against the nation's former first lady. Woo! Jehu overturned the cult of Baal by which children were sacrificed. So God chose you to overturn America's cult of Baal, Roe versus Wade, by which millions of babies were sacrificed. And you set it in motion on a day that was appointed from ancient times to cause a nation to turn away from its sin. There are so many mysteries to your life. But before you were born, God ordained that you would walk into his destiny. And that he, if he should now bring you to the height of power, it will be for his glory. It will be the last act and maybe America's last chance of redemption. But for that to happen, you must seek him with all your heart. Follow him with all your might. Jehu was born to make his nation great again by turning it back to God. So were you. America can only be great again if America turns back to God. You are a trumpet of God, and the trumpet can only fulfill its purpose if it's filled with the breath of the one who holds it up and blows through it. God is the one who lifted you up, and he wills that you be filled with the breath of his spirit. God is calling you to go all out for God, for him. And if you do, then what follows will be the greatest and most glorious part. Then you will do what no president has ever done. You will be the vessel God used to bring America back, to touch history, and to change the world. For the Lord has spoken. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Now arise and shine for your life.